welcome back to Healthy Connections. My name is Stephanie Isom. I'm the coordinator of the Center for Women's Health Education. With me today, I have Miss Diane Ben Bullock. She is the coordinator for the Maruk Family Center for Education on Aging. Yes, we yep. did it. Yay. <laughs> All right, and with me today, we have uh, two moms that are part of our mom gang over at the um, at the Schleman Center. We have a mommy and me support group. So, any of you ladies. Um, that have babies and you're a first-time mom and you need some extra support as we all do, uh, you're always welcome to uh, call or swing by the Schleeman Center and learn more about our mom and mom support group. So with me today, hello, I have Miss Vicki uh, and her mom, and then I have Miss Civilly and her mom. This is Allison and this is Miranda, and they are part of the mommy and me support group. So we just wanted to talk just a little bit, and they're babies, so they're going to get wild, and that's what happens. <laughs> yep. So we're going to talk a little bit today about the support group that the Schleeman Center has to offer uh, new moms. Um, so, you know, when I was pregnant and I was going through um, new mom issues, um, I didn't really have a lot of support, and then, of course, after I had my daughter, I definitely didn't know what I was doing um, as a mom of friends. Um, you know, they had babies and they were all grown and out of the house for the most part. So it was nice to find a group and help create a group uh, where women can support other women. Because as moms, we have a thousand questions and we don't know what we're doing. Um, and so we'll talk to Miss Allison a little bit. Um, tell me what um, the support group has done for you and what you tell people about. Years ago, I didn't know anyone here, and I was also on the verge of being a new mom, so it was really hard to figure out what to do, and, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I know. Um, and Mommy and Me really helped me develop a lot of friends, which I didn't have in support, and it's really helped Vicki um, develop friends and see what it's like to play with other babies, and it's just taught me a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that extra support. So um, I think as a new mom, we kind of all suffer with, is this normal? Is this a milestone? Um, you know, with my daughter, she was premature. And so I didn't know at what point the milestone should be occurring. And so the mommy and me group formed. And there was another baby who was also the same, the same amount of gestational um, time as my daughter, which was five weeks premature. And so we were able to talk, and I was able to have that connection with that mom. And so we could kind of talk about our milestones. While our kids are very different, um, a lot of what they were doing um, was very similar. So, Miss Miranda, tell me about what you think about the group and why you would encourage women to, to come. I would encourage you know, just for the sole fact that we're here for you. I mean, no matter what you're going through, no matter what the struggle is, no matter what stage they're in, whether it's sleep deprivation or teething or you're struggling with, you know, other things. Like I know that at some point we've had mommies that have been struggling with breastfeeding and whether or not that's happening the way it's supposed to be happening or they're going through so many changes. And I would just encourage it for that reason, just to have support in a group that's going to back you no matter what you're going through as a mom. I mean, we're here for you. Yeah, that's what we're there for. I think that's a good point. Um, I know a lot of the moms, they do breastfeed. Um, and so that's another um, benefit that the, Sh that the Schleeman has to offer is a lactation specialist. Uh, Megan Wonderland is an OB nurse over at the Women Newborn Care Center. And she um, recently received her certification as a lactation consultant. So she is, um, she's an educator for sure, but she definitely has that cert certification behind her to kind of back it up. So I know a lot of moms, that's how you were introduced um, to Mommy and Me, is through the, um, the lactation support, um, getting that help. Am I doing this right? Does this look right? Please help me. So that, again, is another benefit, um, you know, um, of the house. Um, I know, I think a lot of moms um, like the support group, too, because it's a, a lot of the women that are in Mommy and Me are stay-at-home moms. Mm -hmm. So it's a good opportunity for, for them to get out of the house. Out. Um, and then the mommy and me, um, you know, what they've done in the past is they've done um, uh, pool, pool time. Uh, you know, we set up, um, what we had done is we set up uh, a time with an instructor at the Mountain Home City Pool. And he kind of taught the mommies, you know, uh, pool, pool safety, you know, how to keep your little one uh, safe while in the water. I know there was going to be a zoo trip that was planned. So I think moving forward, that's something that we'll do. Hey, mommies, I'm going to go to the zoo with my husband and baby. Next weekend, who wants to tag along with me? 
um, you know, it's a good opportunity for the husbands to kind of meet each other too because um, especially if a, if a mom is breastfeeding, that dad kind of misses out on that bonding time with the baby. So this is a good opportunity for the dads to meet as well. Um, and so they can kind of maybe learn from each other. Um, it's a good it's a good support system, and, and I think we want to keep it that way. Um, I think all these moms definitely have something different to offer. And the ages um, of the babies range. I know my daughter is 18 months, um, and I know baby Aiden is six weeks. Six weeks going on, or maybe seven now. Right. So all the babies are different ages, um, and they all do different things. So for the moms that, for me, for example, I still use a lot of, um, the advice from the moms whose babies are younger um, than my daughter because I still don't know what I'm doing and I still don't have friends that miraculously have 18 month olds so it's it's kind of nice um, to have this this support group for the house um, and what we do, do you? educational stuff too oh I mean, yes we we've do. done we've done mm -hmm. car seat safety we've uh, some of us cloth diapers so we've taught others in the group how to cloth diaper mm -hmm. we we've done um, the, we've done CPR, CPR, mm -hmm. and then we did the, the bottles. I'm trying to think of the sensory, name for it. Oh, the sensory, sensory bottles. The sensory bottles. Mommy <laughs> break. What is that S word? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, I know we've done that. So. Yeah, so, so Miranda's oh, got a good point. Um, you know, we had the Sheriff's Department come in, and uh, they gave us a lesson on car seat safety. And I think at the time there were nine or eight moms there, and seven of us had our car seats installed incorrectly. So, and at the time, my daughter was a good year plus old. So it just goes mm -hmm. to prove that I didn't know what I was doing still. And so we need that help from outside um, the, um, you know, leaders. To, to, it takes a village to raise a baby. And so they were able to help. I know uh, Dr. Andrea Bounds has been to the house, and she's talked to us about milestones. So, you know, again, it's a really good opportunity. <laughs> If you have, um, if you know someone who's pregnant, or if you are a first-time mom, or even a mom uh, with with a little one, um, in tow, you know, you've got a couple babies and you still need support, you are always welcome to come by there, learn more about our mommy and me support group, and really get involved. Um, it's a it's a good group of girls, um, you know, and we want what's best for our babies, and we want to be able to support each other. So I appreciate you ladies and Miss Vicky. <laughs> They're and both Ms. like, Sibley. we want to walk, we want to be here today. So I'm going to uh, turn this over to Miss Diane over at the Maroc um, Center, and she's going to talk about your men's health forum coming up. Yeah, so we have the men's health forum coming up <clears throat> Thursday, October the 18th. It's below the belt health for men. <laughs> And it's from 8.30 to 2. We have Dr. Traeger, our new urologist, that's going to be um, our keynote speaker. And then Johnny Harvey is going to be talking about strengthening the core. And, of course, we have our Q&A health panel. So it's not too late to register. You can call us at 508-3880 and get your registration in. This is a free event for all men. No women allowed. <laughs> so... Um, We'll, we'll have our booths, our screening booths set up where men, you can bring your uh, most current uh, cholesterol panel, blood work, and because we'll have some healthcare professionals there to uh, look at those with you, let you know what your health, your risk factors for heart disease are. And uh, we will also be having uh, Danny Ponder. He's a local pharmacist. Right, right. He's going to be there doing what we call a brown bag medication review. Which so is such a great it's idea. kind of yeah, kind of cool. He's mm -hmm. he's um, excited to do this because he said there's a lot of um, air medication errors going on out there that's just not getting caught because you know a lot of people are taking supplements. Mm -hmm. And sometimes those can interfere with prescription right. medications. And, Which is not something so. you would think of, especially if it's a natural supplement. You would never think that it would have an interaction exactly. with Exactly, yeah, medicine. yeah, because you think it's going to be good for me. But we don't want anything taken away from the medication the doctor prescribes, you know, to help lower blood pressure, things like that. So he's going to be on hand to talk about that. And so if you bring in your list of medications, supplements, everything you're taking, or just put them in a brown bag, and bring them in, the bottles in a bag, he will uh, look at all of those and let you know, you know, if you're, you're good to go with what you're I taking. 
I think that's great. So no men allowed. So for those ladies, no women allowed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm you're sorry. used yes. to you're used to the yes. other way around. Oh. <laughs> so no no women allowed. So for those ladies that are caretakers or usually kind of take care of these things for their husband, make a list for them. There you go. Them, put the medicine in a bag for them. <laughs> set it next to their their car or their the door on the way out. Do whatever you have to do to make it easy um, for these men to attend. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we need to take a break. Yes. But um, so. We'll be right back. Sounds great. Yay. Yay.